and that explains and now I remember my thumb was frozen in Canada there but uh, these uh, these connections were just sitting there as, as well as the thumbs the thumb connections they're all they're not soldered on anymore neither so I'm hoping that thumb one works I'll heat that up and see if I can uh, you know get that to work again but these connections here were even off so I think that's my problem and I don't want to get too uh, fancy here but I do have to uh, take this uh, little plastic white piece off and hoping there's a connector under there so I can get everything off and uh, you know find out I'll have to go over there where the switch is find out which one is high and low and go from there because I'm not going to use the one obviously but they're they're color coded I got to you know I have to figure it out but so that's where I'm at right now and uh, hopefully this works because you need hand warmers and I don't want to buy the OEM one um, just because it looks like well actually I should look it up if it's fairly cheap I might because it looks like you could just plug them in because the way it stands now I'm gonna have to uh, solder you know the new ones onto these wires which ain't no big deal but I guess I should look up see how much these hand warmers are first from Articat if they're because I only paid 20 bucks for those aftermarket ones and they look like they got much bigger uh, you know ribbons as far as heat transfer I don't know I mean uh, they're claiming they're warm so let me look at that right quick high, high switch That's over 100 degrees. just backing her in here because uh, I pretty much made a decision so I thought that I'm gonna get the OEM thing I found it for $37 on Amazon it's like $50 but I sifted around a little bit found it for $37 the thumb warmer is $50 can't find it any cheaper cheaper so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that here's the thumb warmer I think maybe I'm gonna try to repair this maybe the solder connection because the yeah, two yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the OEM one for the handlebar because this seems like a little too hot um, you know I can add that resistor um, I think the OEM way to, it's $37 it is what it is but I'm not buying a thumb warmer um, and I can't repair it so <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh, this is the wire for it uh, hack this bugger up and uh, fit it to this I'll have the hottest thumb warmer going because I remember even when this did work you know how that thumb gets cold on a cold ass day so I think I'm going to do that. See how that's going to go. I'll slice and dice this thing up best I can. Tape it up some gorilla glue or gorilla tape. <laughs> See if that works. If it doesn't work, you can always just take it off. So let me try to cut it up so I can uh, bend tape. You know, however I want to do it on this thing. So we start fitting this on the thumb warmer. It's all cut up and flexible now. I can bend it. I can uh, and cut them things out there. Something like that before I tape it all up. I just got it uh, kind of just wrapped around there. But <laughs> you kidding me with this guy? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'll freaking try to put the tape around it. See if it works. <laughs> you know what you're thinking? This guy's got to be off his meds. 
<clears throat> I think it'll work. I mean, this duct tape, uh, if you've ever used this Gorilla Tape, it holds up in uh, cold temperatures really well, hot temperatures. It's that sticky, sticky stuff, so I eh, expect it to hold. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some juice to it. See if she melts right away, or I'm going to have the warmest gun this winter. <laughs> A little crude looking, but I think it'll work. You know, I can't really tape this part here because that's where it seats, you know, when you're doing the throttle there, but I think it'll work. I mean, I uh, I tried to peel some of this off because I didn't like the look uh, of this one piece. I couldn't even get it off, so I had to leave it on and put some other shit over it. Uh, so I got everything jammed in there. Underneath ain't going to matter, but uh, like I said, it's crude, but I think it'll work. I got it out. hooked up to a battery, and uh, <laughs> it's actually working. It's about 100 degrees. Uh, it's 100 and 108 degrees. Well, you can't probably see that. I'm out here. Get a, you know, 137 degrees. 100 degrees. 100. You know, where it depends if it hits an element or not. But I'm going to leave it this way. Maintain around 132. Uh, I'm going to leave it for a while. See if that tape melts. Or, uh, you know, I have to figure something else. To, it's hot. I like it. Now she's been about 20 minutes and uh, it's pretty toasty. 160 degrees. Hasn't really gone much over the 170 mark there. I think it's going to work. I mean, uh, nice and toasty for sure All right, so put this OEM one on came in just got this thumb warmer uh, rest in here for now it's plugged into the throttle cable uh, but I just wanted to point this little piece out this is like a little uh, roll pin so I'm just gonna insert that from the bottom and then uh, put this over it you know like so this will be in there and then this other pin goes through the top and the roll pin, of course. That's what holds it in. And you put that little, uh, you put this little guy in there, that little push pin. That holds everything together. But you need the roll pin first. You hear that? Whatever that switch is, that's what that uh, pin needs to hit. But I need to put that other pin in first, take up the slack there, but anyway, so I just left this, uh, this kind of distangling because I got to wire this to the thumb warmer uh, factory thing before I put the grip on. Uh, this was a little challenging, this, uh, you know, all the wires, because it had been like two or three weeks before I got back to this and everything kind of just separated and you know, you have to tuck everything back in, so that was a little bit of a chore, but she's uh, nice and tight now. Maybe this position here will give you an idea what I'm going to do here. So this is the, the throttle. I'm going to shove this pin under here, this uh, fat one. Go around that little switch. You'll feel it in there. Just get her flush up to the top. And then put this... Uh, Fit the thumb grip back over both. There it goes. Then you just feed this guy in the top. Kind of a feel thing. There it comes. Just came out the bottom there. So the throttle works. I can hear the switch going. So that's that. Let's put this uh, little push pin. Put it. I flattened it out, so it's uh, hopefully it's got some new life here. Get over that little hump. I don't know. Probably need a little socket to force it up there, but let's see if I can do it with pliers. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just dropped it. 
Well, let's try this again. I got uh, it's freaking cold out here, man. Can't feel nothing. Oop, keep dropping shit. All right, so uh, just got a socket there. I don't know what that is. Eight millimeter. Let's try this. I have to use gloves because I can't feel my goddamn fingers. It's probably gonna drop this and lose it for good. But Come on, get up there. <clears throat> Might have to get a big pair of channel locks, I don't know. There it goes. She just snapped in there. So, so the bottom there, I don't know what I'm looking at. That little snap pin, she holds in. I know, looks a little goofy with this tape, but. So there's the throttle. I can hear the switch still going, so I think we're good there. Let me put this grip on, and because uh, I, I can wire this, uh, this stuff here afterwards. I want to put this grip on and see what the temperature is. All right, ah, we're done here. So I decided to go this way, a little shorter wire than looping around there and, and uh, wire tying it. So I heat shrinked it and... Uh, Threw a little extra gorilla tape on there, so she's good. No impedance. So let's measure this sucker right quick, because I gotta, I gotta get in. It's freezing out here. So both of them are on. About 20 some degrees out here, so they're already warming up. So that's uh, 50 something degrees. This old one ain't is. Uh, I guess it is. I'm gonna say it ain't as warm to the touch. I might have to. Eh, it's getting up there, but I might have to get another one OEM for that side. I don't know. Let's see the thumb warmer. Let me see that. 93, 80. I don't even see that. that yeah, that's nice and warm. And it's 15. I'm going. I bet you it's uh, 100 something degrees in there. 150 degrees. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's, it's hotter than hell in there. Well, that's good. Yeah, this is nice and warm now. So I think that'll do it. That is a jury rig. One heating element wrapped on a thumb warmer. Oh, that's nice.